this city is so old, no one knows for sure when it was born. Its beginning is lost in the mists of time. This is the capital city of a nation whose heritage is rich in noble glory, a land where kings have stood and history was made. This is Madrid, Spain, a modern metropolis in slumber. The dawn is about to announce another day. marketplace are moving in ever larger numbers by air cargo. Iberia Airlines is standing on the threshold of a new and golden era of the transportation of international products by jet freighter. In the next decade, the second decade of jet travel, the air cargo business will increase eight times over on a global basis. Air transport of freight was once regarded only in terms of perishable goods covering long distances or urgent shipments that had to be sent by the fastest means. The jet has changed that with its large capacity, economy of operation and obvious swiftness. The modern jet transport has brought booming growth to air cargo services. Shippers find that moving goods by jet eliminates expensive warehousing and distributing centers, broadens distribution, speeds up customs and advances rapid turnover of stock. Spain is the most rapidly growing market in Western Europe. Her increasing development offers great possibilities for export and for investment. She exchanges products with marketplaces all around the globe and Iberia Airlines helps to keep the import-export trade moving at a brisk pace. The products of Spain are diversified and interesting, ancient and ultra-modern. Behold Barcelona, sophisticated, earthy, unmistakably a working city. Muscular and hefty, it sprawls around its harbor with its industrial sleeves rolled up. Hundreds of factories turn out as many different types of products, including one of the world's best-known lines of perfumes and colognes. This immense modern perfumeria bottles, packages, and prepares for distribution this international product manufactured here in Barcelona and in Madrid. Of course, it can be purchased anywhere in the world, including Costa del Sol in sunny southern Spain. Within just a few miles of this famous seaside resort area is one of the most interesting industries on the Iberian Peninsula. Telephone instruments are manufactured and assembled in this modern factory in Malaga. The latest technological advances in production line assembly methods are routine here. Nearly 3,000 employees skillfully fabricate these delicate instruments for use throughout Europe and Latin America. This factory is as modern as tomorrow. In fact, it represents the Spain of today and the near future. But in many ways, Spain still clings to the wonderful heritage of craftsmanship from another time. Glass making is an ancient craft. According to historical documents, several furnaces were in existence in the 9th century, 
In Spain, the skill has not been forced into changes as in other countries. Here, it is truly a traditional and enduring art. Through the Roman, Gothic, Arab, and Christian civilizations, it has retained the shape of its glassware and the formulas for making it. As the art became industrialized, many furnaces which had burned like an everlasting torch for 2,000 years were extinguished. This furnace, which withstood the advance of the machine age, is preserved in its original purity, handing down from generation to generation craftsmanship employing to this day the same methods and basic processes as in the time of the Roman Empire. Countless generations of continuous talent may be represented in but a single article created by these unique craftsmen. The glass fish takes us to waters it will never know, to the Atlantic Ocean. Not far from the tip of North Africa lie the Canary Islands. Here on Tenerife is one of the most beautiful places on earth, Puerto de la Cruz. Obviously tourism is big business here, but away from the swimming pools, the surf, the sand and the beautiful people, up on the slopes near the top of the island, there thrives a vibrant new industry. This new Spanish industry is but 10 years old, and it is only possible because of two things, water in abundance and the advent of the jet age. The industry is the growing of fresh flowers, which are shipped by jet cargo to hundreds of destinations throughout Europe and South America within hours of their harvest. Flowers of all types, orchids, roses, carnations, birds of paradise, an unlimited manifest of color and beauty. As weightless as flowers seem to be, tons of them are shipped by jet freighter every month of the year. Though the flower business is new, it is the third largest agricultural industry in Spain. The major areas of flower production are the Canary Islands, Palma de Mallorca, Catalonia, Valencia, and Costa del Sol. By contrast to the fragility of the flowers of the Canary Islands is the feeling of durability created by these gigantic textile machines manufactured here in Barcelona. Prior to shipment, they are thoroughly tested. Then the machines are crated and sent to leading textile mills in the four corners of our planet. These machines are symbolic of world trade of goods in transit, which stimulate global economy, create better standards of living, promote new industries, and generate new traffic channels between countries. Iberia is, of course, a Spanish company, so in regard to Spain, they are in the best position to know the opportunities for commercial enterprise and for export. A few hundred miles from Barcelona, in northern Spain, is an area which has become internationally famous for producing weapons for hunters and sportsmen. The factories are relatively small, but there are many of them, and most of them are at least one full century old. This modern machine polishes gun barrels. It does the job faster, better, and with more precision than ever before possible. It is symbolic of the new Spain, changing and growing.
This particular gun factory specializes in shotguns and has a reputation for manufacturing the finest handcrafted weapon of its type to be found anywhere. Northern Spain is well known for its complex of heavy industry. The city of Aviles is the home of two major steel companies, Encidesa and Unitsa. That slab of hot steel weighs upwards of 7,000 pounds. At the moment, it is more than two feet thick. In a mere matter of minutes, thanks to a completely computerized conveyor and roller system, that molten steel slab will be totally reformed into a workable roll of quarter-inch steel plate. Of all the steel mills in the country, this is the largest blast furnace in Spain. These corporations combined employ over 20,000 people and they produce 4,250,000 tons annually. For the past few years, percentage-wise, the Spanish national steel market has been greater than the world market. Steel produced in the mills of Spain create a supply line as they feed factories of all types across the land. Factories producing for the export market such diversified items as ocean-going tankers, electrical appliances, motorcycles, and typewriters. Toledo, half surrounded by the river Tagus, and set upon the slopes of a craggy spur of land, Toledo is the personification of the poet's image of Spain. This is the city which should be seen at first from afar. Then it is best to walk at random, leaving chance and time to reveal the architecture and character of this famous and historic city. At one time, Toledo was the capital city of Spain. Today, in our 20th century world, Toledo artisans are still exercising the same skill and talent that brought fame to this imperial city. And they are doing it with the same tools and techniques which were in use some 400 years ago. The entire city is virtually one large factory, upwards of 20,000 artisans working in their own homes or small shops produce works of art which are exported on a large scale. delicate craftsmanship of the artisans brought lasting renown to their beloved city, but undoubtedly the paramount source of world acclaim stemmed from Toledo steel. Toledo's swords had been famous since long before the Christian era. Even during the Roman period, swords of Toledo steel were made here in much the same manner you are now viewing. Just as each invading culture left its mark on the city, that same influence is reflected in the famous swords made here. The high standard of Toledo steel was partly due to the unique process used for smelting the raw material, a method creating results which have only been surpassed by those of the modern Bessemer process. Long before the beginning of recorded history, fishermen have gone to sea and returned with their life-sustaining catch. It is the same today, and probably it will always be. The difference in our modern world is the distribution of the food from the sea. 
Lobsters caught off the coast of North Africa are brought here to Las Palmas in the Canary Islands. They are kept alive in saltwater storage tanks. Then the lobsters are packed in boxes, padded with excelsior, and they are shipped by Iberia Air Cargo to Madrid, Barcelona, London, Paris, Rome, and other major cities throughout Europe. The exporting of fresh live lobsters is but another example of how life is improved for all of us by the fast, efficient service of jet cargo. Within hours of being taken from the waters of the Atlantic Ocean, fresh lobster may be enjoyed thousands of miles away. Another major export item of the Canary Islands is cigars. There are 115 tobacco factories in Spain, employing thousands of workers with a total value of production excelling 10 million pesetas annually. This particular factory is one of the newest and most modern. The best cigars are still made by hand. The classic method of hand rolling is by knife and board, with no other aids. A cigar consists of three parts, filler, binder, and wrapper. The filler is the inner core which forms the body and shape. The binder holds the filler together, and the wrapper is the outside leaf. Then there are machines which make cigars, and they are as complex as a computer. The most celebrated tobacco growing areas in the world are the Canary Islands, Cuba, Sumatra, North Borneo, the United States, Italy, Java, and Brazil. Tobacco of the highest procurable grade is imported from more than a dozen different countries to produce the blends that go into the cigars produced in this factory alone. Because freshness is such an important factor in cigars, most shipments are necessarily by air freight. Scores of tons of exquisite Spanish cigars are manufactured and exported one day, then purchased the very next day by connoisseurs on as many as six continents, thanks to the speed and efficiency of jet cargo. Faster than words can describe the transition, we go from the Canary Islands to Mallorca. The island of Mallorca, in the warm waters of the Mediterranean, has for decades been highly regarded as one of the foremost tourist attractions in the world. Its reputation as a place of unparalleled beauty and charm is entirely deserved, but Mallorca is also the home of a number of Spanish industries. One of these industries is totally unique. Since the beginning of civilization, alchemists and wizards have been trying to reproduce gold, silver, diamonds, pearls, and other riches of nature. One Spaniard, fascinated with the almost mystical beauty of the pearl, succeeded after years of experimentation in imitating nature. 
The problem was to create an iridescence which would match the deep shimmering luster nature created through layer upon layer of the surface of oysters' pearls. The process which he finally evolved was a revolutionary technique, some of which is still a carefully guarded secret. It can be said that he found a way of adhering layer upon layer of sheer skins of a shimmering substance from which evolved the world's most precious simulated pearls. Unlike cultured pearls, which come in many grades, simulated pearls come in only one fine grade. The price depends on millimeter size, length, and clasp. The pearls of Mallorca are sought after by women of good taste everywhere. In fact, the women of the world are looking to Spain more and more for fashions of all kinds. Fabulous pearls to fine furs, from teacups to tractors, the products of Spain and of the world find their way to trade fairs such as this one, which is held in Barcelona. Trade fairs are symbolic of the international marketplace, where ideas, products, and manufacturing techniques are exchanged between most of the 218 countries comprising our planet. Spanish shoes are a good example. They are manufactured in Barcelona, Palma de Mallorca, Valencia, Alicante, Elda, and Madrid. They are of the highest quality and style and are exported all over the world. All the products of Spain are flowing to and from the global marketplaces at a pace never dreamt of before. Meaningful, necessary products that follow the crisscross trade routes with jet cargo swiftness. Because Iberia Airlines understands the industrial climate and commercial conditions so well, they are pleased to share their knowledge and act as consultants to any organization considering engaging in business in Spain. Spain occupies a strategic position between Europe, Africa, and America as a platform or base for the distribution of merchandise. It is a gateway for the trade goods of the world. Because of this important fact, Iberia Air Freight affords the best means for distribution anywhere. The new freight terminal in Madrid is the heart of this grid of distribution between Europe, America, and Africa. The latest technological advances reserve space for all types of cargo with electronic precision. Space age modern equipment, perfected only in the past few years, accelerates the ground handling of air cargo. Computerized and mechanized on Iberia Airlines, cargo always goes first class. When industry thinks cargo, they think world. They think Iberia. It's a fast-growing leader in the airline industry. Thirty years ago, Iberia had 19 employees. Today, there are more than 13,000, and the airline flies nearly 100 million kilometers a year. Centuries ago, Spanish galleons were discovering new worlds. 
Today, the flagships of Iberia Airlines are shrinking our planet at very nearly the speed of sound. Air cargo will continue to become more important in the lives of people of all nations. The future is clear. From this jet age vantage point, we call the threshold.